Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am just getting kind of a late start on the day. I did a little workout this morning and now I have an interview uh, with Readability, which is an amazing um, literacy app for kids, for elementary age kids. I think it's K through six. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And then what else is on the agenda? We have European art history that I lead. I team teach that uh, in our homeschool collaborative and I've got dinner tonight, business dinner with Kofi. So it's gonna be a full day, but hopefully a fun day. So here's a little of my day in the life. So Readability is an amazing app that's available on both iPhone devices and Android devices. And basically what you do is you can create an account for a sub under a subscription for your children and you, the children can read aloud to some artificial intelligence and it gives them reading comprehension questions to really see where they are. I was excited to do this interview with Readability to talk about the potential of this technology to help close learning gaps since the pandemic. Okay, so I just finished my interview uh, with Readability. It went really well, and now I'm on to my second cup of green tea for today. But I wanted to talk to you guys about um, Plum Print. I'm not sure if this is something that you are familiar with. I'm gonna tell you about what the process is like, what I'm doing. So Plum Print is a company that will convert your children's art into a photo book. Um, so you just go online and you request this box that they ship to you and it has instructions on um, how you should order. Um, but what you can see is like, I have all of this art from, actually from, this is Laya's preschool art. Just grab this. And so you just put all of the artwork in there. Even if it's three dimensional, they'll basically just convert it into um, one great big coffee table book. Laya said she wanted the 13 by 11 hardcover. I think there's also, they'll give you a digital copy um, if you want of all of the uh, artwork in photo format. And then I can be rid of, you know, all of these things that are just in bins in our garage. So I'm really excited about that um, because I think it's gonna be a much easier process than doing it myself. I'll show you what it looks like uh, when you do it yourself. So yeah, I made this book as an example um, on Shutterfly for Lincoln with his art from first grade. Um, I love this because it's DJ Marshmallow. Uh, so I'm getting off on a tangent, but it's just a cute, simple little book that I did on my own that included the art that came home from school, kind of the uh, most fun pieces from first grade. It's just a little time intensive to take the photos yourself and upload it. It's not impossible, but since we just had so much stuff from the preschool, I just thought it would be easier to do a uh, plum print uh, for the preschool stuff. And then I can do this, hopefully, you know, again, for second grade work or third grade work for Lincoln. Uh, we don't have so many projects this year, art projects, because of obviously because of COVID. Um, but yeah. So those are two different ways that you can do it, two different strategies, but I'll put a link to Plum Print below and to Shutterfly. All right, so I have made my tea. Now I need to come over and make a little intro video or a promotional video for the Collaborative Health Summit that I'm going to be a part of in a couple of, I guess a couple of days this next week. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Hi, my name is Dr. Mimi Narte. I am the founder and CEO of Race, Class, and Parenting. Ray quote by a scribe complaining about his work. The art of scribes is the hardest of arts. It is difficult toil. It is hard to bend the neck and plow through the pages for three hours. Three fingers, right? You ready? Yeah. Thumbs up. Perfect. Perfect. I love the couch. Go crazy. Go, 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 go. All right, so we just dropped off Lincoln's work packet for the past five weeks and picked up his next packet of work. That's kind of what we've been doing in the distance learning model. Every so often we turn in the work and now we're gonna run and get some lunch at Chick-fil-A. Of course, who doesn't love Chick-fil-A? Um, and then we'll come back home and get
get ready. I, I need to get ready to go with Kofi to this business dinner. And we're going to take the kids and drop them off at their grandparents' house before that. So the day continues. So two days earlier on Tuesday, we had hosted a tasting for Cardinal de Four, which is an amazing Armagnac. Uh, and we were having a follow-up dinner that evening with the creator of Cardinal de Four, uh, a good friend of Kofi's named Christophe and his wife. We did a little, little angle right here. So when you pour, you know, usually every time you pour table side, there's always a little drop that goes down and goes below on the table. Mm. But with this, the, the, if you remove it uh, fast enough, there's no drop, you know what I mean? So it's a little added. Uh... <laughs> it was really nice to be able to host this event at our private uh, club, the Griffin Club in Los Angeles with a couple of friends. It's nice that things are starting to open up a little bit so we can start to connect with people once more. So now the final part of the day, we've got the kids, we're headed to grandma and grandpa's house, and then Kofi and I are gonna go to dinner with the business associate. So. So we ended up having a really beautiful rooftop dinner at LP uh, in Los Angeles near the Hollywood area with Christophe and Taj. And it's really nice to just be out again and be, like I said, connecting with people. So good Thursday. Thanks for watching.